What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, so normally we do Pokemon card unboxings and we do binder reveals, but today I was going to do a room reveal, kind of show you a little bit about my room. Um, so this is basically my shelf. I just kind of store all my stuff on all my Elite Trainer boxes. Um, most of those have cards in them, um, just excess of whatever it says, like Shining Legends has Shining Legends in it. Fusion Strike has Fusion Strike in it. Those two are empty. Um, but then my binders, uh, most of these are the old style binders. We've got a couple of the newer ones in here. Um, we're going to try to update all of the binders here on the channel. Um, now this stuff, these are some of the newer cards that I don't have binders for. Um, actually, this is just all spare Fusion Strikes. And then um, these are going to be like Evolving Skies, Chilling Rain, Battle Styles, Vivid Voltage, Darkness Ablaze, and I think uh, Rebel Clash. Nope, I don't have um, Darkness Ablaze. Rebel Clash is on my other shelf. But um, yeah, this is just kind of some of my main stacks. Um, and then some stuff that I still need to open up top. Um, some of my sorting stuff, card sleeves, tins, um, yeah, just like dice and, and pogs and stuff. And then I've got my table here. This is where I do most of my openings at now. Um, if you've watched the older videos, I was in a different room before. Um, but this is basically where all of the openings happen. And then I just kind of have this little tray up top to where I stick. These are kind of stuff that I'm still waiting to sort certain areas. Um, but anyway, uh, this is... This is my main table that has most of my cards on it that are in binders yet. So a lot of my top stuff up here, um, this stuff is spares that I already have the binders for most of these. Um, and then most of the stuff down here I don't have binders for yet. I haven't sorted it yet. Um, other than like the evolutions, I've done that. And then the, um, the burning, I think it's the burning shadows. Yeah, this is the burning shadows. Um, I have a binder for that already, but a lot of these other ones I don't yet, um, and they are in order, um, so we've got base set, well we have shadowless base set, and then base set, and then jungle, fossil, base set, two, rocket, um, and then we've got the gym challenge, and the gym heroes, or it's gym heroes, and then gym challenge, but anyway, they're all in order, um, so like right here, there should be a, um, a Sky Ridge in this spot here. Now, I don't have one here. I do have Sky Ridge. He's just, those cards are just in binders. So a lot of these spaces, I actually have cards from that set. Um, but anyway, these are all in order, and I kind of keep track of that with this board up here. So this board shows, um, this is all the main expansion sets up top. Um, starting with base set one, and it's going to take a minute to focus. It always does this. But... Um, and I, I've been updating how many cards in each set as I'm going through putting them in the binder. So some of these numbers are really, really low and pathetic. Um, but the green means I've completed the set. So base set one we have completed. Um, I think I've done a video kind of going over that binder. But a lot of these, I mean, these numbers are changing every day. I'm constantly in here updating these numbers. And a lot of these I haven't even started to go through and count yet. Um, we did do some work on the Fusion Strike, but again, this number is not even right. It needs to be changed probably four or five times ago. Um, and we have a bunch of cards from all of these sets. And then down here, this is all of our special stuff. Some of our promo sets and McDonald's sets. And um, these are all the trainer kits. Um, and they've got the cool Pokemon logos on them. And then the Black Star promos and Detective Pikachu. So I, I have some stuff wrote in where I haven't gone in and made the labels yet. Um, it's been kind of crazy trying to get the room all built. Now this is all of my sorted, um, basically all of the stuff that's down here on the bottom. So I've kind of got it sorted kind of here, how it is here. Um, but a lot of this stuff I've already started binders for as well. But it's just getting the binders and and getting them sorted it's all time consuming which is why I wanted the room um, I was trying to do all of this at my house and it was it was a nightmare trying to get the cards out um, figure out what I had where and so now that I was able to, to do this office I can um, just get everything out leave it out um, it's just a Pokemon room a room just for my collection um, we've got our Pikachu tail on the wall and then we've got our dogs they're always hanging out with us we've got this is Huff and then this is Hermione Hermione 
Um, and then we got the chairs over here for the kids to hang out when they come. We've got the Nintendo 64 with Pokemon Snap. So on the channel, we're going to be streaming Pokemon Snap for N64. Um, we've already done episode one. I haven't uploaded it yet. I'll probably do it today or tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. Um, and then we've got Pokemon Stadium. This is kind of my, I don't know, my equipment corner. So we've got Pokemon Stadium over here. Uh, it's in really rough condition. We got it at a... Um, game exchange I think um, and it was really beat up but we have tested it it does work we've played it a little bit um, but we will do um, we'll do a video this is just some spare energies that we've got stored over here and these are all of our special energies like base set energies just numbered energies um, eventually we're gonna once we get all these sorted off and cleaned off we're gonna do puzzles right here Pokemon puzzles and then we're gonna get, get a big puzzle binder um, basically like a scrapbook binder and we're going to decoupage the puzzles that we do and we're going to put them in there but we're going to put our camera up or a camera up right like this or so and then we're going to do a time lapse of the uh, puzzle being done so everybody who comes to visit us in the room and works on the puzzle will get to be at least their hands will get to be in the time lapse um, so we we got our couple posters on the wall um, and then we got this big rug I like having the shag and the dogs love having the shag carpet but we're gonna have a carpet guy come in um, this is the biggest rug I could find it was an 8 by 10 so we're gonna have I'm gonna have new and I don't know I kinda like the gray but I figured we needed like I was gonna do like red something just really crazy shag carpet but I don't know we'll see we're gonna have the carpet guy come out and quote us and we're gonna run brand new carpet throughout the whole room and then right now this is my only outlet that I'm working for I still haven't even put my cover plate on because the paint and you know everything and we're getting a new door um, but we'll get our cover plate put on I've been looking for Pokemon themed ones and I can't find any so we'll just have to make and see look at the touch-ups I need to do already um, you notice these things in the camera but you don't really see it with the naked eye which is um, I guess that's a, a good thing and a bad thing but um, and then we've got our big cards up here that we um, we collect and so we've got some that we're going to unbox we've got another one of these celebration packs that should have some more of the celebration big cards it should have let's see three of them in there and then it's got some boosters with it so i think we're going to do maybe that in the celebrations box maybe in the next video or maybe in the next video we've got two um two of the trainer boxes the the sword and shield trainer boxes to do um but I think we're going to get a new desk and a new gaming chair. I'll try to do Pokemon themed or maybe we'll do green and black. I don't really know yet. I might do like a green and black desk and then do like a yellow and black Pikachu chair. That would be pretty cool. Um, but now, then I want to build like a big, I want to get rid of this. <clears throat> and I want to build like a new desk that goes down and down and maybe down just a little bit there. I don't want to get in the way of the Pikachu tail. But just like a, a desk with a hutch on the back of it. Um, and I, I didn't plan on showing you my other office. I didn't plan on showing you this office yet because it's just not quite done. Um, I wanted to wait till I had my carpet done and I wanted to wait till I had my hutch done, but, um, I don't know. At the end of the day, I guess I just decided I really didn't care. Um, so I was just going to show you guys anyway. I mean, I, I do this for fun anyway. I just, I love my collection and now I get to really, I get to be in here with my collection. Um, and it's really cool. I mean, it's so childish. I don't know. I'm 32. I feel like a little kid though. I'm always in here just playing with my Pokemon cards. I mean, I'm a, <laughs> I don't know. It, it might be a little immature, but that's okay. But I am going to go ahead and show you this other office. I didn't plan on it. Now I am still, we're painting my hallway. It's still, um, still a work in progress but uh, we're getting there we're getting there but this is my main office and again excuse the mess it's a little bit dirty I didn't plan on showing you this I still have baseboard to put up here that's where the dogs usually sleep is down there but this is the kind of hutch that I'm kind of wanting to do behind the Pokemon table now I built this as well um, I did it about like I do everything else I didn't finish it I still haven't finished painting the bottom there um, you can see my paintbrush and then I've got my paint here so um, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's a slow process. But this is just kind of the stuff that, that means something to me. Um, so I've got my Harry Potter wand collection, some coins, and, and just, uh, I, we love the beach and my Bible collection. Um, some stuff from my, my old bull riding days. Um, so yeah, just, um, this is stuff for my main channel. Um, we do oil field testing, so that's kind of part of my main channel. But this is the kind of hutch that I'm wanting to do for the background 
in my Pokemon room. So again, sorry. Then you could see that's my uh, that's my machine shop down there. It's it's a mess too, but we won't talk about the mess. Um, but anyway, I I just wanted to show you guys kind of what I've got going on in here. I can come in here and mess around with my cards, sort out the cards I just bought. If I go to a card shop, I can line them all up up here, which is kind of what's happened. These are all some recent cards I've got in, and I've kind of sorted them out. And now they just need to be either added to stacks here. Usually I'll check the binders first to see if I have a binder for that set. So like these here are Sword and Shield. I know that I have a Sword and Shield binder, so I'll go over and I'll get the Sword and Shield binder. I'll put in as many as I can. And then since they are Sword and Shield, um, I already know that... I have a sword and shield binder and I have a sword and shield box. So any spares I have that, that fill up, say I put them in the binder, all that I can put in and I still have some left over. They will all go into one of these boxes for bulk storage. All the commons and uncommons. Now any rares that I get for the sword and shield will come back over here into the sword and shield pile and they will get put in a sword and shield card sleeve and eventually I'm just this whole table all it's going to be is just rare cards and maybe when I do my hutch I will do something incorporate sets like this and have places to actually put all of them where they can't be knocked over and then this would just be a slot for the extra rares and hollows and stuff like that reverse hollows um, and I'll probably end up opening a website I mean if I'm going to continue to do big openings um, especially like we did with the fusion strike I mean we bought everything we could possibly find for fusion strike like one of each and then did our video and um, I mean if we continue to do that then there's no reason for me not to have just mass amounts of rare cards and what better way to um, sell them than on a little website but um, we've also talked about maybe opening up like a little card shop here in town um, and that's something we'll discuss and maybe we'll decide to do later but um, anyway uh, again just thank you for for watching the video and, and checking us out if you enjoyed it give us a thumbs up and subscribe check back for more videos